Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, it is my heartfelt request to you. Please put petroleum products in GST because they are heavy taxation by the states, by the centre. And so the citizens of India are in big trouble. Look at my garage. I'm a philanthropic person. I work for 108. I'm a retired man. I have no money. So my whole earning goes to filling petrol in my cars. And that I'm doing free service. But those people who are going here and there, they are all in big trouble. It is my sincere request. The people of India has trust in you. He has elected you with a thumping majority, being one of the greatest party of India, whose foundation is based on sacrifice, supreme sacrifice. And they have been trained by RSS. This is the greatest organization on this planet Earth, on the face of the Earth, where we are learning all the wonderful philosophy. For example, Atma Sarvutesu. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Basudeva Kudumukam. And you are a wonderful person, most intelligent, highly educated, dedicated, committed, passionate person. So you summarize all philosophy in your three lines. Sabka Saath. Sabka Vikas. Sabka Vishwas. This is totally based on the philosophy of Sanatan Dharma. Sanatan Dharma is universal religion. It is the truth. It is not a religion which teaches self, selfishness, greed, anger, hatred, jealousy, and cynical thoughts. It teaches yama niyama pratyaha radhana dhana samadhi. Means truth, justice, peace, love, and non-violence. Honesty, integrity, humility, generosity, kindness, cooperation. Living in perfect harmony with every creature on this earth. This is not a dharma. This is absolute truth, which is the enlightened person whom you love and I love and everyone should love. God must see Dada Buddha get to the world. Peace and love, kindness and compassion. That should be the motto of our life. Bottom line. Honorable Prime Minister, kindly you see that petroleum products are put in GST so that there will be uniform taxation and the common people of India will be breathing easy because we are starving, we have no money to buy petrol and one point more electrical vehicles are coming in production by Ratan Tata in India taxation is too much kindly lift the taxation on electric vehicles so that we can consume less petrol and diesel and we can really use our electrical energy which can be renewable sources through solar energy, wind energy, turbine energy, tides energy. Let's think together to make India a great nation. But you are in the hell, you are in the power. I can only talk and appeal to you. But you listen to us because you are my representative. You are representing 130 crores of Indians. We trust you and we promise with your generosity, with your dedication and passion, the way you are serving motherland, 2024 is going to give you 400 seats in the Lok Sabha. This is truth. If you love the people, people reciprocate. Today India is a new India where people are all educated. And you know, you believe in the power of youth. The numbers of the youth, how much? 67%. The youth are very clever. Except some perverted, diverted, whose DNA is polluted based on caste, skills, race, religion and region. They do not know they are ignorant, indolent, thoughtless, useless, greedy people will not support you. But a patriotic people who has the DNA of Subhasar Bhos, Bhagasana, Shikhar, Lal, Lal, Paal, like me. We love you, Narendra Modi ji. Do something for us. Thank you.